Hey, hey! What's up, internet, you awesome peeps? It's me, it's Rich, and I am back. All right, so just like usual, I'm updating you guys on my 366 days of movies. And today, I'll be talking about days 34, 35, and 36. Let's do this. Okay, so day 34, I watched Moonrise Kingdom. That is what I watched. I watched Moonrise Kingdom. All right, so Moonrise Kingdom, it's this coming of age story directed by Wes Anderson. It's about these two kids who basically uh, wants to live on their own and become independent because of the situation in their lives at that moment. This is directed by Wes Anderson, and if you guys don't know who Wes Anderson is, or, or if you guys do know who Wes Anderson is, uh, he has this uh, distinctive visual uh, flavor in his movies and a very... Uh, and also distinctive narrative styles. So again, if you guys do know him, you'll, you'll know that that's a Wes Anderson type of movie. Uh, just like an example, uh, Zack Snyder, uh, mostly known as uh, director of 300 and even Man of Steel, uh, also Watchmen. He has this visual appealing uh, spectacle, if you will, when you watch his movies. It's very, it's visually entertaining. And that's when you, that's what you think of Zack Snyder. Uh, whether or not you agree if he makes good movies, his, uh, visually, his movies look phenomenal. Uh, just like Michael Bay, his movies are more... When you think of Michael Bay movies, you think of explosions and loud sounds and just over-the-top action, like, basically like Transformers. Moonrise Kingdom isn't that. Uh, again, if you guys know who Wes Anderson is, great director, love his work. Uh, this is that kind of movie. Uh, definitely recommend it. I, uh, it's, a, it's a great movie. Check it out if you haven't seen it already. Uh, and in, in a way, this movie is kind of like a feel-good movie too. So uh, it's, it's, it's really good. It's great. Check it out. Check it out. All right, so day 35, I watch The One I Love. I watch The One I Love. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so little backstory. I was, well, I was, I wanted to watch a uh, romantic movie, and uh, just I went on that or I went online and just typed in, you know, a, a really good romantic movie, rom com or a romantic drama. It doesn't matter, just a romantic movie. And this definitely popped up in one of them. In every single article that I saw, this is one of the best movies, or at least you know, a rom com or. Again, just a romantic movie uh, that a lot of people haven't seen before. And um, I decided to check it out. And oh my gosh. Freaking good. Freaking good. I, I, I love this movie. This movie is great. Um, personally, this movie was, uh, it was entertaining to watch. And on top of that, there's definitely a... Uh, Oh man, a little uh, a mystery to it, you know. Um, as uh, uh, <laughs> over at Wikipedia, uh, the the genre is uh, it's called um, what is it? Uh, psychological thriller. So that's what it's called. Uh, it again, it has that mystery to it, and I oh my gosh, this movie, whoo, it's good. I don't want to ruin talking about it a little bit more. It's basically about these two couples who. Are he and here I am talking about it. Don't worry, no spoilers. Uh, so it's these two couples who are basically in the end of their marriage and they're seeking uh, marriage counseling. And from there, from their psychiatrist, you know, he uh, ah yes, so he suggested something for them to do to go to a re retreat. And then from from that point, uh, things go a little bit not as expected. And that is all I'm going to say. Definitely worth checking out. So if you are in the mood of kind of, uh, I guess, in, you know, in a romantic movie kind of mood, uh, and a little bit more if you want some mystery to it, again, really great storytelling, definitely go check this out. It's, it's worth your watch. Worth the watch on Netflix. So, boom, do that. Moving on. Okay, so day 36, I actually watched two movies. And let's talk about those two movies really quick. Go. All right, so the first movie I watched, Day 36, Rounders. I watch Rounders. All right, so this movie stars Matt Damon and Edward Norton. And basically, it's about this 
uh, Matt Damon's character, he's this high stakes poker player and he has to pay off his debts because he lost a lot of money. That's basically what the movie is and it goes on from there. I actually really like this movie. Uh, to, be on to be honest with you, I actually like a lot of Matt Damon movies back in like the 90s. I, you know, Good Will Hunting is another great movie. Check it out if you haven't even seen that. Uh, yeah, for some reason this movie spoke to me and I, I I like playing poker. I used I mean I still watch once in a while, you know, um the the poker tournament, the worldwide poker tournament in Vegas and all that stuff. Obviously on TV. And I know how to play poker, so in a way it, there's there's a part of me that wishes I could be that great. You know what I mean? Uh, this movie actually reminds me a little bit of Black J or not Blackjack, sorry, sorry. Uh, the movie 21 with Kevin Spacey, I believe. Yep, yep, I was right. Kevin Spacey was in the movie 21, in which it's about basically counting cards. So Rounders actually reminds me of that movie just because you know, it has something to do with cards, but it's not so much that uh, he's counting cards, he's just very smart and very skilled. You know, Matt Damon's character, very smart and very skilled at this at poker. The movie goes on from there. I really like this movie. Go check it out, especially if you love poker. It's uh, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool movie. Uh, what what else can I say? I, I I like this movie a lot. Okay, so second movie for day 36. I watch Coherence. I watch Coherence. Last movie for my day 36. All right, so if you've been watching me this whole time now, you guys know that I'm a big sci-fi guy. I love watching any kind of sci-fi movies, whether they're amazing, they're good, not good, or really bad. I love it all. Especially time travel ones. Especially time travel ones. Again, this is one of those movies where I looked online to check out what's a good, decent uh, sci-fi movie. And this actually popped up in, a, in some of the articles. Uh, I checked it if it was on Netflix, and it was, and luckily... Luckily it was there, so I watched it, and wow, this movie is pretty damn trippy. It is pretty damn trippy. It's basically about this uh, phenomenon that there's this comet that passes by Earth, and it happened before in Finland. Uh, they're not in Finland. I believe, I don't think, I don't think they're in Finland. But basically, that's not the point. The point is, a comet passes by Earth, and strange things starts happening, and it's pretty damn trippy. Uh, again, uh, I thought I great movie. I actually really like this movie a lot. It's one of those movies where at the end of the movie you're just like, what? Uh, and yeah, it, it uh, good, good, good movie, good movie. Uh, again, yeah, check it out if you haven't seen it. Uh, Coherence. It's still on Netflix. Go do that. Do that. Watch. Watch. All right, awesome peeps. That is it for day 34, 35, and 36. Let's recap, shall we? All right, so day 34, Moonrise Kingdom. Day 35, The One I Love. Day 36, Rounders and Coherence. And once again, awesome peeps, that is all. I'll be back with days 37, 38, 39. Yes, I know, I'm trying to catch up. Uh, I basically have training now. I have work, so it's a little bit more... Harder for me to catch up. Uh, don't worry, a little behind the scenes. Uh -huh. I have, I have videos actually already lined up. I just need to actually edit them. So that is it once again. If this is your first time watching, thank you so much for watching. Go back and watch all the other videos just to check them out. Uh, I'm not really, re not really reviewing them. I'm just, just pretty much just going through the movies very quickly. But if you've been watching me for a while now, thank you again for coming back. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. All right, that is it, folks. I am rich, and I am out. Stay awesome, my friends.